Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek. I'm the Fly Fish Fanatic and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today is going to be the start of my Coronamid month. Uh, Coronamid, buzzers, uh, emergers, anything that that can represent a, uh, uh, a Coronamid in the hatching process. So anything from blood worms to uh, pupa to uh, uh, emergers to to uh, wet uh, little uh, spiders, anything like that. Uh, anything that can be used to represent a coronamid. So that's 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 the theme of the month, okay? So um, today I'm gonna tie probably my favorite um, and probably one of the best uh, planet-wide, um, a, a merger coronamid, uh, and that's the shipman's buzzer. Uh, this can be used as a, an emerger or a coronamid that's stuck in its shuck right at the top, right in the surface film that's uh, injured, anything like that. So uh, there's um, many different uh, versions of this fly. Um, I've already done one probably a few months back, I guess, or maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, on my page, this one's a little bit different, but um, uh, it's one of those uh, flies that can be... Uh, um, that that you can really play with colors and, and sizes and stuff. So, alrighty, here we go. Oh, might help if I actually turn the camera on. Sorry, guys. There it is. <laughs> oh, I love all my little mistakes, but. I like leaving them in because, I mean, it's all part of the process. So, okay, so today in the vise we have a Hens BL254N in a size 12. Um, I'm going to be using for the the Gills Shuck, I'm going to be using the uh, Poly Yarn from Semperfly, this white right here. Okay, this one at the bottom, okay, the white Poly Yarn. Um, for the rib, I'm going to be using some Semperfly Hollow tinsel, copper, in a 132, I think it is. Yeah, 132. And then for the body, I'm going to be using some uh, ultra-fine um, hen's hamster dubbing in black. It's really, really fine. So, okay. And spiky. So that and that's what I really want. And then for the thread, nano silk, Semperfly nano silk. Uh, this is a 12 aught. Um, if you've got 18 aught, even better. Uh, you want you want to keep it as thin as you can. I mean, it does build up a little bit this one, but it really, it's not as critical as like tying a um, a buzzer or a, or uh, what we in here in North America call chronomid, right? Just with the the bead head and stuff, where you kind of keep it thin, thin, thin. It's not quite as as picky um, with this one. So, tied on my thread. First thing I do, wax my thread a bit. I wax my thread when I tied it on. Wax my thread, and I take some uh, some of the white poly yarn, and I'm gonna tie this on, sticking forward, and a little bit further than I normally would, and then I'll just open turns right back to the bend of the hook. Don't go past the bend. I go under the tail and over, and then come back forward. And I'm cranking pretty good on this. I want to tighten it down. Now I'm going to just cut this a little bit past the tail, the, the, sorry, the bend of the hook. And then same here, I'm going to cut it about the same length as I did the back. So about like that. I want to leave a little bit in the front of that uh, for my tie off later on. Okay, there's a really simple fly. Um, it can You can make this as small or as big as you'd like. I tie these in a 14 all the way down to 10 all the way up to 10 sorry so i'm just tying in some of that uh, hollow tinsel i tie this in with a uh, copper tinsel i tie this one with silver i tie this one with gold um, several different ways okay back to my tie-in point keep my tinsel out of the way wax my thread for the coming up of the uh, dubbing I have to move my mouse there. So now I'm just going to take some of this dubbing and just uh, dub it on. I said it's kind of nice and spiky, this stuff. 
and I want it. I don't want it crazy spiky. Like I don't want like a half inch long spikes, but I definitely want the spiky. So now I'm just going to get it started, give it a twist to tighten it, and then come forward. Just giving it a bit of a twist every time. So that's about it there. Pull that off. And that little bit there I can just nip off because that's I obviously didn't get it all. So now the key with the shipments and I learned this um, not the hard way but um, by posting uh, my last one up on uh, on some uh, UK sites. This is a, uh, a, a British fly, UK fly. Um, three ribs, that's it. Not four, not five, three ribs. Otherwise it's not a shipments. That's what I was told at least. So, so three ribs. Now, will it make a difference if it's if you got four? No. But shipments is three. Okay, nip that off. Turn my fly back for you. Whip finish. One set. I'm gonna go lift all this up and I'm just gonna put one two three right in there and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Sally's because it's gonna be hard to put head cement on this after and just put a little bit right onto the right onto the nano silk and again lift everything up there lift it all up out of the way one two three nip that off if you've got any really, really long fibers, like these black ones here, there's a couple, just nip them. And your shipments is done. That's it. It's a, like I said, it's a really simple little fly. Works like mad. You can even give this one a, just a little, just a little scruff up if you want. Your Velcro, but it, it's not necessary. So yeah, let's see if I can just get that focus just a little bit better there. So there you go. That is the, uh, the little shipments buzzer. Um, I, like I said, I tie these in in black and brown and green and uh, even in red. Um, I don't find the red works as well, but at times, sometimes, you know, every once in a while it does. But I'd say black, brown, green um, are probably my uh, top ones. Black and brown being the top two. So ready, super simple, dry line. Chuck it out there, figure eight retrieve, leave it alone. Figure eight retrieve, leave it alone. Really slow retrieve on this one. This will just sit right up in that surface film. Um, if you want, you can put a little bit of uh, a floatant into the uh, into the uh, uh, poly yarn just to help just keep that right up in that surface film. Um, it's good if you see them sipping, but not just like just subsurface. Don't put anything on it. Let this thing sit in that film. Alrighty, so. That's number one. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be doing chronomids of some sort all month of February. Um, whether it's uh, buzzer style, British uh, UK buzzer style, whether it's uh, um, uh, North American style cone heads, uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, snow cone heads, if you want to call it, the white beads, that kind of stuff. Whether it's this type, whether it's uh, wet flies, uh, but all that uh, rep represent chronomids. So, alrighty. So stay tuned. Um, uh, feel free to, to subscribe if you haven't. Um, uh, like I said, I do uh, two videos a week. Uh, if you subscribe, thank you very much. I know you guys are still waiting for the uh, 2,000 subscriber draw. It's coming. I'm trying to figure out a way to get every single uh, subscriber on my YouTube list onto a draw. So it's just taking me a little bit. It might take me another week or two to just do some research. But I'll figure it out, and I'll let you guys know. I've got lots of really good gifts, uh, prizes. Um, I've got some some materials, some swag, Zemperfly hens, uh, um, uh, Fly Life Canada, uh, renomed, uh, a bunch of stuff, renomed scissors. So, yeah. Alrighty. Tie lines, everyone. See you next time, video.